<laughs> if you are uh, like a Section 8 investor, a subsidized housing investor, dude, you should be salivating right now, okay? The way that government vouchers work, y'all, the more bedrooms... Okay, the more money, dude. And it is very rare to get yourself a friggin' six-bedroom house, okay? Do I recommend going into the current tenants and just immediately increasing their rent $350 a month when their lease is up, right? This is Ohio, okay? You only need to give them a 30-day notice. Uh, no, probably not that high, right? That could potentially uh, make them prematurely leave your house. And then, of course, you got to redo the term. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Y'all, I got a rare one for you, man. They don't make too many houses like this one. Check it out. 719 Salem Ave, Dayton, Ohio, y'all. Six bedrooms, two bathrooms, man. If you are uh, like a Section 8 investor, a subsidized housing investor, dude, you should be salivating right now, okay? Okay. The way that government vouchers work, y'all, the more bedrooms, okay, the more money, dude. And it is very rare to get yourself a friggin' six-bedroom house, okay? Now, the current owner of this property, about two years ago, uh, he renovated it, got it pretty much turnkey, ready to rock and roll, right? Roof, furnace, hot water tank, all about two years old. Tenant's been in there about two years, okay? And what has happened over the last two years, y'all? What has happened, right? He renovated this house, got his tenants in there paying 1500 a month. But what happened in that two-year period? The freaking housing market went apeshit. The amount of rent that people have to pay for their housing fucking went through the sky, right? So, at current rent, 1500 and the price point already exceeds the one percent rule and everything's already fixed up for you right great for the long term but that that's not even the best part the best part is all the meat man the meat that's left on the bone dude the rents can continue to go higher bro there is room to increase it right with how rare it is to get a house this big i think you could be about 1850 I think you can get up there about 1850. Now, do I recommend going into the current tenants and just immediately increasing their rent $350 a month when their lease is up, right? This is Ohio, okay? You only need to give them a 30-day notice. Uh, no, probably not that high, right? That could potentially uh, make them prematurely leave your house. And then, of course, you got to redo the turn, right? And then when you put tenants in there, as you see from the footage, it's all turnkey, but, you know... People are living there, especially subsidized tenants, Section 8 tenants, man. They're going to they're gonna put some wear and tear on your property. So you don't want them moving in and out, y'all. Especially people with, you know, six-bedroom vouchers, dude. That's a lot of people in and out of the house, right? So that's a lot of wear and tear you got to clean up, right? So the smart landlord keeps them in the house as long as possible. So I would probably uh, raise that rent incrementally. Uh, small, okay, because even though the majority of it's paid by Section 8, y'all, it's still going to affect the tenants, and you can cause the tenants to look elsewhere. Although, not that many houses have this high bedroom count, so you, you probably could keep them in there, actually. You probably could get that rent up there, honestly. It's kind of, it's up to you, right? Uh, dealer's choice on how you want to do that, because, I mean, there's really not a lot of options, right? If we're talking like a 2-1 or a 3-1, you know, dude, there's freaking hundreds of three ones and two ones, but there ain't a lot of six twos out there. So you know you might you may do have you may have a little more power honestly uh, than I originally anticipated. So that's totally going to be up to you, right? From here, y'all. Well, what we need you to do if you want to buy this particular property, you can go ahead and make your offer. Submit that to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. Include your pre-approval letter if you're financing or your proof of funds if you're paying cash. If you want to buy it, you want to finance, but you don't have a lender, just let me know. I have a list of lenders. I have lenders I've been working with for over 10 years, folks. I have lenders who will loan to investors like you, no matter where you live in the USA. Any of the 50 states, I have lenders We'll give you guys 30-year fixed interest, low interest loans uh, on non-owner occupied investment properties like this. We even have lenders who will work with foreign nationals, right? So if you're watching me from Canada, the UK, Singapore, wherever, we could hook you guys up too. Although your terms are going to be a little bit different than the USA's terms, okay? If you're a United States citizen, 
living in America, you're going to get a little better terms than the foreign nationals. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, right? So you guys could uh, get that for me if you need it, then submit your offer, and then we'll make it contingent on inspection, contingent on appraisal, so you can get in there, do your due diligence, and then this thing is going to be a friggin' cash cow. Sales at HoldenWise.com. Let's go. I'm going to walk in the back door here. This is the entrance they use to the home. Um, walk into the kitchen. Got the kitchen here, some cabinets. Sink. Let's check under the sink and see what we got going on. Doesn't look too bad under there. Pretty high ceilings in here. Nice little breakfast uh, breakfast bar here. Walk in over here. Wow, this is a really big bathroom here. Nice size bathroom. Put this over here, you don't wanna see me. Uh, stand up shower. Man, this bathroom is really nice. Really good size. Look around in here. Um, can I get in here, ma'am? Uh, What's in here? My bathroom's in here. I don't have to if I, if, it's okay. Now he ain't in here, come on. I'll turn the light on. Okay, go into the bedroom here. Excuse me. Take a look around. A little smaller bedroom here with a kind of a little recessed area. Go back out. Yeah. It's a really pretty large home. You in here? Excuse me. It, it is tenant occupied, so there's some people in here. Yeah. Nice size living room. <laughs> nice fireplace here. A pretty big house. <laughs> Go up here. Up the stairwell here. Check it out up here. It's a big place. There's no room to the right. Oh, right here? Yeah. It's got the balcony. Oh, there's one right here. And then my room. Yeah, excuse me. Oh, you're all right. I was doing laundry. That's the balcony. Can I open this? Yeah. Okay. Go out here. Onto the balcony. It's a pretty nice, sturdy balcony. Got a view of the street here. It's a pretty cool place to sit. Go back in here. Laundry day today. Laundry day today. Another bedroom here. Little bedroom. Walk in closet. Go back out here. Check it out out here. Uh, what's this room? Is it a bathroom? bathroom. Okay. Bathroom. Uh, stand up shower, it looks like. Uh, we should have it about this way. We should have it about this. Mama. Can you come here for a minute? Reopen these. Reopen these. My nephew, we had sleep over last night. Oh, you're fine. It just goes up to a night. This house had a fire it years ago. Look at the room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're good. Sorry, Bobby, man. Just taking a look at the bedroom here. Could give this man some privacy and get out of here. This is another room. Yeah, this is my room. Go in here. Take a look. Watch out. Watch out. You gotta come here. Let's take a look. That's a big bedroom. Yeah. You think it's big? Give this man some privacy too. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. All right. Pretty she, good size bedroom. Today. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah, I was calling you because I heard how me and Mr. Is that just a closet? I'm assuming. Yes, yeah. Okay. No, upstairs. Upstairs they have a. Uh, they had a fire. Okay. And Take so that was, we didn't finish that. Okay. 
Let's get a get pictures up for him. Pulling okay. upstairs here. Oh wow! But, Man, yeah. it's big up here. It's like they actually have a toilet up here. Yeah, I Could finish this up for a yeah, living to, area. So like, so like, I was trying to find some places like uh, drywall and stuff because I know how to do that stuff. Right now, I'm trying to find where I can get a stack of them and just start doing it. Nice. Yeah, it's <laughs> like a little apartment up here. Oh, this real right there. <laughs> this way leads you around too. Wow. Yeah, you can go that way. Either way it goes, it goes all the way around. That's cool. Yeah. See, it goes all the way around. You have your own little house up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just gotta be careful. So, a lot of insulation, so that's good. Yeah, and then we got the basement downstairs. Okay. All the way downstairs. We're we'll gonna take a look at that, and I'll get some picture or some video, and I'll get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Watch your head. I be having to tell everybody. That's what's safe down there on the basement. I always, I bump my head the first day. <laughs> it hurts. What's this one here? Is that outside? Side door. Oh, okay. Side door here to outside. Big lot next door. Yes, sir. Down here, I'm almost done. Get some of the basement, I'll be out of your way. Yeah, right there. Right here. Yeah. Don't sit down and watch your head. <laughs> you got your sign up. Duck your head. The dog ain't down here, is he? No dog. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take your tour all the way around. Nice. Nice washer and dryer here. Yeah. I had to give me a washer and dryer. We didn't have one here, but we had the hook up. Nice basement. This is what I'm watching the Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.